time, position, velocity. Now let's try to understand few more concepts for time, position, velocity graphs. Here, the distance time graph for John is shown below. So that's the graph which shows distance and time for John. Now you need to answer these questions here. The first one here is identify D intercept and explain its meaning. The next question is identify T intercept and explain its meaning. And the last question here is calculate slope and explain its meaning. Right? So this is a very basic question on distance time graph but it gives you a couple of new things to understand. Normally we talk about x-intercept and y-intercept, right? Why is it so? Since horizontal line normally is referred to as x-axis, so the graph crossing x-axis becomes x-intercept. The vertical line normally is referred to as y-axis, so a graph crossing y-axis becomes y-intercept. Well, that gives you an idea what should D intercept be and T intercept be, right? So we will now answer the question that is identify D intercept. So what is D intercept? Now here the vertical axis is distance D in meters, right? So wherever the graph crosses the vertical axis which is being referred to as D will be called as D intercept, right? So graph intercepting D axis is D intercept, right? So here D intercept is this point. And at this point you will note that time T is zero, right? So we can write down the coordinate of D intercept as zero comma four. So that is the D intercept. And what is its meaning? The meaning of d-intercept is that it's the distance when time is zero. So it gives you the initial position, the starting point. This distance time graph is for John, so we can say that John is four meters away when he's trying to approach the source at t equals to zero to start with, right? So John starts four meters away and it is approaching the source, right? It's coming closer and closer with time. So D intercept here means the initial position, the starting position, the position of distance when time is zero in a distance time graph, okay? Now let's try to understand what is T intercept. Now our horizontal axis is called time in seconds. So the graph crossing horizontal axis, which is time for us, will be called as T intercept. So this point is T intercept. And we can give the coordinates of T intercept as T value is 8 seconds, 8. And at this time, distance D is 0, right? So that is T intercept. And its significance is that at this point, distance is zero, right? The y value, the vertical value is zero, right? So that is kind of final position for a distance time graph shown here. Now, the third part is calculate slope and explain its meaning. Now, slope of a line can be given as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? So by default we write y2 minus y1 since we call this as a y-axis and this is x-axis. In our case it should be equal to d2 minus d1 divided by d2 minus d1, right? Since we are referring vertical axis not as y but as d and therefore we had the term d intercept. And our horizontal axis is not x, it is t, time, right? 
therefore we should write t2 minus t1 right slope m is equals to therefore change in distance divided by change in time now here change in distance is 0 minus 4 that is the distance right 0 it is 0 distance here and 4 there right so final position distance is 0 0 minus 4 divided by final position time is 8 8 minus initial is 0 so 8 minus 0 right that gives us minus 4 over 8 or minus half right now what does this signify in a distance time graph ratio of distance over time or change in time change in distance with time is called velocity right so here this signifies velocity it's the rate of change of distance with time which is called velocity so for us velocity is equal to minus half we can say 0 0.5 meters per second right meters per second you will note if the distance is positive right and if the line is going downwards that means we are approaching in that case velocity should be negative so negative signifies approaching here for a positive distance right so the slope here is the rate of change of distance with time and since the line is straight it is a constant velocity of minus half meters per second or minus 0 0.5 meters per second it signifies speed with which John is approaching correct so what does it signifies it signifies speed of approaching right so average which is 0.5 meters per second and when you say approaching then it becomes negative okay so that is what it signifies thank you